How fast can I explain the basics of aerospace engineering? We're about to find out. So we're going to start with a little aerodynamics problem here. And we have this airplane and we're looking at one point. Now we're given the pressure and density of air at that specific point, And we're trying to calculate the temperature in degrees Celsius. So what we need is we need an equation that's going to relate everything. And the equation that I'm going to use is this one. Pressure is equal to density times the gas constant R times temperature. What we can do is solve for temperature in this problem by dividing both sides by the density and the gas constant. That'll get it to cancel on the right. And then we'll end up with this equation for temperature. The gas constant is 287. So let's go ahead and plug in all the variables that were given in this problem for this equation right here. You should end up with something that looks like this. Now our air pressure divided by the product of our density and gas constant, that's going to give you 297 degrees Kelvin. But notice here we get an answer in Kelvin and we're looking for an answer in degrees Celsius. To convert Kelvin to Celsius, all you want to do is take your temperature in Kelvin and subtract off 273.15. So if I go ahead and plug in 297 Kelvin, we should end up with approximately 24 degrees Celsius. And this is the approximate temperature at this point of the airplane's wing. So now we'll go over propulsion and we have this rocket and we're trying to find the thrust. Now I have an equation for thrust which is the change in mass times velocity divided by time. Notice that we have two rates, the rate in kilograms per minute and in meters per second. Now when you see meters per second, what is something that you think of? Generally for me, I think of speed or velocity and notice we have velocity in this equation because miles per hour, meters per second, that's all a distance over a time. And since we have a rate of distance over time, we can plug that in for our velocity. So what we're going to have is 485 meters per second and this rate represents the amount of fuel burned per minute. This is in kilograms per minute and notice that we have a mass over time mass over time but we can't actually plug 6,000 in and the reason why is because this rate is in minutes this rate is in seconds so we actually have to convert our 6,000 kilograms per minute to kilograms per second so I'll take our 6,000 kilograms per minute and I know for every one minute there's 60 seconds so what I can do is cancel the minutes and 6,000 divided by 60 that's going to give you a hundred kilograms per second so this is the new rate that we can use and we can plug this in for our change in mass over change of time rate and that's going to give you a hundred times 485, which is 48,500 newtons. So that right there is the thrust required for this rocket. We'll finish up with some fluid mechanics where we have this gas inside a flexible container. Our container has a volume of 3,500 cubic centimeters initially and an initial temperature of 200 Kelvin. If our volume increases to 6,500 cubic centimeters, what's the new temperature? Well, if I go ahead and say that this volume is volume two, I can say this temperature is temperature two. So I can rewrite this temperature as temperature two. So now all I need to do is plug in the variables that I have into this bottom equation. And by the way, this bottom equation is called Charles Law. So if I go ahead and plug all the variables in that I see, I just need to solve for T2. And this is just algebra at this point. So what I'll do is I'll take the T2 and multiply on both sides. That'll get those to cancel. And I'll go ahead and reduce this fraction, 3,500 over 200. That's going to give me 17.5. I divide 17.5 on both sides. And 6,500 divided by 17.5 is approximately 371 degrees Kelvin. So that's the temperature of our gas at a 6,500 cubic centimeter volume. Also, here's a more detailed equation sheet for fluid mechanics. That was a basic introduction to aerospace engineering.